Hi there, it's Tim. I'm going to be doing a comparison video today with the, right behind me here, we've got the eMove Touring, the 08, the 09, and the Legger. Thanks to Ride the Glide for providing the scooters for me to try out today. I'm going to go all the way around in the same sort of general uh, route for each of the four scooters, come back and share with you my thoughts after each ride, what I think of the scooter, and at the end of it all, which scooter do I prefer and which one would I be looking at buying if I was buying a brand new one today? Now I should share with you, I happen to own the 09, love it, but let's see what I find out later on in this video. Thanks for watching. All these scooters have single motors at the rear. They all have suspension and except for the legger, they all have dual front or front and rear brakes. Don't! 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 Anywho, I'm going to kick off this and I'll start it off with the 08 and come back and try the next one. All right, just as I mentioned, it's going to be the 08 first up. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just put up on the screen all of the uh, specifications for it. Um, I do know in this particular instance, the 08 has a solid tire at the back. Um, actually, I think that's really smart. Uh, so if, um, if the ride's good, then, uh, then it's a good thing. But, uh, you know, having a solid tire at the back, that's about 95% of all flat tires are the ones at the back. So the rest of them are all pneumatic air-filled tires. Alrighty, next up, the Hill of Death. The Hill of Death. How steep is the Hill of Death? Let's find out. Alrighty, so with a little bit of math, I did my rise over the run, rise over the run, and I was able to ascertain that the degree of slope is 25 degrees, and it is approximately from the bottom up here to the top, about 120 feet. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how steep the Hill of Death is. Done. I'm surprised actually. The um, the rear tire is uh, not that uncomfortable at all. The um, over the bumps, going across the bridge, that sort of thing. It was really quite quite pleasant. Uh, the single brake. Um, you know what, for the speed that you're going, I was finding with my big frame, I'm, I'm 282 pounds and six feet tall, and uh, I found the brake was adequate. Uh, I was doing about 32 kilometers per hour. I'll put the uh, speed up on the top here, I what that is in miles. And deck size, they're all very similar sized decks. Overall, I really, really like this. It's a very, very solid scooter. Okay, I'm gonna ride it back and pick up the next scooter. Kickstand. 
A few moments later Alrighty, here we go. Zero nine. Next stop. The Hill of Death. Alrighty, so zero nine. I don't know. I, I the ride quality on the zero eight was I thought was fine, but then when I get on the zero nine. You really notice the difference, the uh, the smoothness going over the bumps over the bridge there, and um, also the handling. So I gotta say I, I prefer the pneumatic tires, the air filled tires at the back, uh, but um, you know what? There's a little bit of stress that comes with that too, right? You're never sure if you're gonna get a flat tire, and I've had about four or five flat flat tires over 2,000 kilometers now, and um, on my zero nine. So uh, anyway. That's for you to decide, I just thought I'd share that with you. So far, I prefer the ride quality on the Zero Nine. Alrighty, next up is the Speedway Legger, and one of the things I did mention at the very beginning is that they all have dual brakes. Well, actually, the Legger and the Zero Eight don't have dual brakes. They all have the single brake drum at the back. Don't! So, uh, just uh, my my mistake. Anyway, off to this, off to the Hill of Death. The Hill of Death. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the Speedway Legger. Terrific ride, very comfortable, nice big deck, and lots of power. In fact, lots of lots of power. So I'm going to speak to that at the very end when I wrap up which is the best scooter. A few moments later. Alrighty, next up is the Emove Touring, uh, last scooter for today. And guess what? <laughs> it only has one brake too. My goodness, my memory of these things is really bad. Don't! So they all have single brakes, rear drum brake brakes, and one of them, the 09, has a front brake too. So <laughs> apologies for that. Anyway, next up. The Hill of Death. Alrighty, so that was the E-Move Touring. Really like that, actually. Really like that a lot. Um, all I've actually reviewed all these scooters, and I'll put links in the show notes to the individual reviews. But with the E-Move Cruiser, sorry, the E-Move Touring, um, it does have a solid tire at the back again. Uh, and I don't really know what else you can do to mitigate the uh, the noise or the banging. Or um, it, It's quite pronounced on the E-Move Touring. Uh, when you're going over bumps it doesn't affect the ride like if that makes any sense the ride itself is really quite smooth but um yeah it's quite noisy at the back uh terrific lighting on here and uh as i said i really like the suspension at the very front there i think that looks uh, really really clean anyway i'm gonna ride this back to uh, ride the glide thank you again to ride the glide for lending out the scooters today and uh, i'll give out my uh, my final thoughts on which is the best scooter to buy of these four Two things I really like about this particular scooter is the uh, horn and when you're doing the adjustable, they're all adjustable on the stem when you, for taller riders and shorter riders, but this one has pins, locking pins in two separate holds. So if you're taller and you put it up into this one, it's going to be a little bit nicer, a uh, little bit easier on you. And I've been riding around without that, so I'm going to put it back on my ride back to ride the glide. A few moments later. Alrighty, so brass tacks. What do I think? 
Well, number one, like this video. If you if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it. subscribing as well. I, I noticed that about 90% of the people that watch these videos haven't subscribed. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well. Hit the bell notification or something like that too. If you can think of doing that, that'd be great. So what am I thinking? Um, number one, all four of these scooters are fabulous. Um, you'd be happy with any one of them. I think the um, if you're looking for a really, really... Um, light and easy to tr ride around on the 08 and also the uh the emu touring they're excellent they're very light they're comfortable they're easy to pick up and carry um neither one of them are particularly fast nobody made it up i wasn't expecting them the hill of death no nobody could make it up there that was completely understandable if you're looking for a little bit more top end speed then a little bit more range the legger is definitely the one to go with um the legger with the um I, and also the 09 is really comfortable it's not that far behind 08 and 09 speed wise very similar a little bit faster on the 09 um, but because of the uh, the inflated tires on both the 09 and the Legger, I give them a little bit of a higher marks for comfort. Uh, on the other two, the 08 and the um, the uh, on the 08 and also on the uh, Touring, because they both have the solid tires at the back. Um, that made for not as comfortable a ride, but not horrible, you know, like, so, you know, if you want to save a few bucks, I'd probably look at, uh, either the, uh, the Touring or the 08. Um, as I said, if you want to go a little faster than the Legger, um, I really liked the, uh, the Legger and the E-Move for their handlebars. The handlebars themselves are very, very sturdy. I prefer that type. Um, but on the other side, I prefer the controller, the, the acceleration, the button, um, and display on both the 08 and the 09. So, what would I choose? If I was saving money, I'd probably just go all the way down to a 08. Um, or maybe even just the, uh, the E-Move Touring. But, if I was just um, going to go and buy a scooter for myself right now for bounce around town and uh, for the extra speed, I'd probably go with the Legger. What would you go with or which one would you choose write down in the comments down below i love it i love hearing from you i respond to every single comment that people leave below and uh yeah until next time be safe wear a helmet thank you again to ride the glide for lending me out the scooters and as i said before leave the comments down below i love reading them thanks guys two other quick things number one as i'm riding home i realize all three of the other scooters except for the 09 had that one brake i do like the safety and the security of having two left right front rear brakes that to me that's a bonus and number two i was going to mention this as i mentioned earlier in this in the video i do own the 09 so i'm really comfortable and confident with the 09 i love it to bits it's great you know if i was to do it again yes i would probably get the legger but um 09 is great in fact it's about time for me to be doing a 2000 kilometer um review of the of the 09 so i'll be doing that in the coming days as well a 09 review after 2000 kilometers thanks again for watching talk to you later stay safe